Charlie Abrigo is here with the Gladys Porter Zoo with our Zoo Guest of the Week, which I don't hold often, but I had to hold the chinchilla, so Charlie. I'm yeah. being very brave. It's almost like rubbing your head and your tummy. You're patting your head and rubbing your tummy, <laughs> trying to talk and not be nervous. But um, it just she, he or she, is it a girl? It's or? a he. It's a he. He, he reminds he. me of a bunny. They look very similar. Yeah, they have a lot of uh, features. And people, when they first, uh, I guess, came into light, people thought they were rabbits or kind of a type of rabbit. But in fact, um, they're rodents. They're more closely related to a rat or mouse. Oh, they're the, the cute yeah. version. So it's a cute version, yeah. It's a cute <laughs> version of, of, a, of a big old fuzzy mouse. But um, the reason they're um, so much different is because um, their fur, that's one of the main things that you see right away. It's, you know, so much denser because in the natural, they live in the uh, natural environment, they live in the Andes Mountains. And um, so it's a little bit cooler up there. So, of course, they have to stay warm. And that's one yeah. of the, the ways they stay warm. And, and, um, and they're, they're pretty good. He's, he's uh, part of our education uh, animal ambassador collection, so um, he's used to being handled. And he's actually a daddy. He has a baby there at the oh zoo. Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah, a little, a little baby that was that was born not that long well, ago. Well, that's awesome. I'm sure the children enjoy seeing that. And uh, he looks like he's okay. He's he's uh, not moving too much. So, would you? Do they have the same diet as a rabbit? Do they eat their a vegetables? A little bit, a little bit similar. Yeah, they they'll eat a, a series of pellets, and then sometimes they'll get seeds, and then they'll get like kale, just different types of vegetables, and and um, and um, they're they're pretty easy to take care of. Um, one of the main things is that at the zoo we have to make sure like especially during the summer um, they can get overheated very quick quickly mm. because of their fur yeah and so they we have to make sure that they're always inside in a nice cool area well hopefully the cool temperatures Freddie you hear that the chinchilla needs some cool temperatures yes. to stay here not disappear well let's talk about the big event that you have coming up which is a zoo nights at lights and everyone loves to go see it because there's so many different lights that illuminate the zoo yeah we have about 180 different fixtures so they're all, of course the zoo so they're all animal related we have some dinosaurs and everything right now you're seeing a picture of some of our snowmen of course we have a Christmas tree and throughout the zoo we have uh, uh, luminaria bags that kind of light up the pathway oh, nice. um, because of course it is dark so you want to make sure yeah. you get around and um, it'll be a really nice area to you know kind of uh, stroll around we have choirs they're gonna be um, from across the valley they're gonna be singing there at the zoo um, you can get some hot chocolate we also have like a little market that you can buy some little holiday gifts nice. and we'll have a special appearance by Santa he'll oh, be there okay. with the kids taking photos which is great because my daughter has not taken a photo with Santa yet so that will be good there it is you have it on Friday Saturday and Sunday six to nine it's going to be great, Charlie. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's one of my most uh, favorite events, and and it's it's picking up because we have the Holiday Village in Dean Porter Park across the street. So um, people like to go visit the Holiday Village in Dean Porter Park, walk across okay, the street, yeah. come to the zoo, and it's only two fifty, so it's a great price. Um, that was one of the main things that the zoo wanted to focus on, having a very affordable for the whole family. Yeah. And then if you didn't want to pay your admission and you wanted to bring a new unwrapped toy for the Toys for Tots campaign, that can be used as your admission as well. So you can bring that and of benefits a great organization. Definitely. All right, Charlie. Well, thank you so much for joining yes. us. And he was biting my nail, but it, it didn't <laughs> happen. All right.